As of recording this, ChatGPT was released exactly two years, five months, and 22 days ago. And in that time, AI videos went from looking like this. That's hot. Ah. This part of my life is called being stupid. To looking like this. You know, I'll never forget about the moment I found out about ChatGBT. It was released on November 30th, 2022 to the public, and I remember being at awe that a human invention could pretty much do anything. I was asking it to do things just for fun, like I didn't even have a use for it. And then people started saying you could use it to cheat. <laughs> oh yeah, y'all know me. I was just finishing up my last semester of college and I, I totally did not use it for any activities involving cheating and responsibly finished the semester with flying colors. <clears throat> Uh, I was told schools watch these things just go with it when it first came out at the most everyone was thinking AI was just gonna be things like chat GPT then they released the ability to generate images then they released the ability to generate videos and it's pretty much become hell on earth since then we probably wouldn't have been as excited about chat GPT if we knew AI was gonna start taking half of humans jobs Gen Z might go down as the generation who had the worst start to the job market degrees don't hit as hard as they used to you're already coming in with the highest amount of to compete with and the competition with your peers is the least of your worries because the job you're applying for could be filled by ai eventually that's the scary thing about having a traditional nine to five job nowadays because if you really think your boss ain't gonna replace your ass in a snap once realizing they can get an ai for 90 percent cheaper then you'd be wrong they get a child if they could for cheaper costs that's literally what they did back then before they created laws against it and some of y'all might not think it's gonna happen because surely a company can't fully be run by ai i hate to burst your bubble but there's actually a huge case where it's already happened now you may have heard about it online but it's with the company duolingo a lot of y'all already know duolingo but if you don't it's the biggest language learning app on the planet also known as the app people download when they're finally ready to get in their exploration bag and finally learn the language they've wanted to for years and after a week forget about it and never pick it up again. Duolingo is a company that did something only a few have ever done correctly. And that's be relatable on social media and likable to the public. Usually with companies, no matter how hard they try in marketing to be relatable, it never hits for the people. They could hire a whole team, a marketing strategist, and people will straight up not give a shit. Because to people, you're a company that's trying to make profits and that's why you're on social media. I understand why they do it though. They have to get their product out in some type of way and social media is the best way to do it now. But then you'll have companies do the most blatant pandering to memes that everyone can see through. An example is a chip brand being like, introducing our brand new chip, the Trizzler. It rizzes up the huzz by giving you a hidden ingredient. Riz. Yeah, I'm sorry y'all had to listen to that. But Duolingo was a rarity because it became relatable to the younger generation, mainly through TikTok and doing things that are trending on there. Their TikTok account has 16.7 million followers. That should show that it was working. And also on Twitter, their account has 1 million followers. I'm gonna be honest, I never cared for the company and its social media, but I just heard about their marketing and how they do things. So you may be wondering how this company completely ruined their image and f***ed up all their social media presence. And that's when the CEO released an email to all employees saying, that they're going quote unquote AI first. Imagine being an employee for the company, seeing that statement and wondering if your job is even safe anymore. Man, I'd have my things packed just in case, ready for the call to hit my desk one day saying I'm fired. This email might be the dumbest email a CEO has ever sent out. Because first they start off by saying the AI shift we're seeing now is equivalent to the mobile shift in 2012. And then saying the worst thing you can do is wait. But they fail to realize that the mobile shift had real people making the apps people that were actually paid money for skills that they acquired with their human experience this is just getting ai so they don't have to pay actual people then they say instead of tweaking the systems they already have in place for humans to use and adding ai with it it'll take too long and that they're gonna scrap the entire system instead and i hope you're listening because this might be the dumbest part they acknowledge that the ai is not a hundred percent there but quote unquote we can't wait until the technology is a hundred percent perfect we'd rather move with urgency and take occasional small hits on quality then move slowly and miss the moment what company tells their customers that their new system isn't 100 and the reason why is because they don't feel like waiting for actual human beings to do it imagine the building instructor telling the people in an apartment that the building might not be 100 stable because instead of hiring professional contractors they decided to go with a couple of on the side of a home depot i don't know what they were thinking of when they wrote this but i think they had an ai write it too this gotta be proved that the ai involvement in their company ain't 
fucking work it. Then they lay out that they're going to gradually stop hiring contractors for work that AI can do and reviewing employees' performance based off AI. If it's really that hard for you to get someone to review one of your employees' performance, then maybe you're not a good boss. Like most bosses can tell anyways based on an employee's behavior, how their performance is usually at the workplace and they get reports of it all the time. Then they had the audacity to throw at the end that Duolingo will remain a company that cares deeply about its employees. My what company that cares about its employees fires them based off what AI says? That's the equivalent of KFC saying it cares about chickens then slaughtering an entire family out the womb. Because of this one email, everyone started making TikToks about it informing people what they're doing. And they ended up losing followers and people also started to delete the app off their phone as a protest. Honestly, that should be the outcome for companies that want to do this bullshit. Like at the end of the day, the main people affected by this is the younger generation who are now starting to get out in the workforce. And they try to spin this whole protest into a joke by deleting all their videos on TikTok and having them quote unquote expose the truth, which is just a joke about them getting canceled. It's time you all learn the truth. Enough is enough. If you've seen this video, I'll know my plan has worked. I've had it with the CEOs and those in power. It is time we show them who's in charge. We taught the green bird how to twerk. We put them on the map only for the elite to ruin it all. Some poor intern out there had their life's work eviscerated by the CEO after just one email. To get employees to build you a crazy social media presence like this just for you to destroy it is so insane. Like if you go in their comment sections now, they just get clowned by everyone for it. And trust me, expect this trend to become a trend with companies using AI to evaluate performance. Shoot, our own government does it. Yeah, for y'all that don't know, when Trump first got elected and Elon Musk was officially the face of the most unfunny <laughs> named organization ever, I know Redditors were jumping up and down when Doge was an official organization. Crazy how Elon got all that money and still hasn't hired a d to actually give him funny jokes. Doge at the start of 2025 had made a program requiring federal employees to send weekly summaries of the work they did for that week. And to determine whether these crucial government employees would keep their jobs or not, he had an AI read over their summaries to see whether they should be fired or not. I don't give a f about your politics. This has got to be one of the dumbest things I've seen come out the US government in the past decade. Like just maybe certain crucial jobs Jobs, like government jobs should not be determined by AI? That's the least we ask. Uh, can the government be run by humans or are we gonna have a robot council in the future? And you can't tell me canceling is completely dead because when the f is the last time you heard Elon Musk say some dumb shit? His mouth has been purely shut ever since everyone stopped buying Teslas because of his dumb shit. This man managed to make both political sides hate him, a feat almost unachievable nowadays. And apparently because of the backlash, he stepped back a lot from Doge. Once he fully quits, we're gonna go ahead and throw a party on stream. He does know we ain't forgetting all the stupid shit he's doing though, right? Like Tesla as a brand is cooked in the future. People had to put stickers on their cars just so wouldn't try to vandalize them for driving a Tesla. The only way I see a permanent recovery in the future is if he steps down as CEO. And now we have to talk about the social media side of AI. Because oh boy, is it getting worse. All of Facebook nowadays, if you don't know, was full of the most AI trash you've ever seen. I literally created a brand new Facebook account on my stream just to test and see what was going on. Sub to my second channel and follow my Twitch, by the way, if you aren't. And this is what's happening on Facebook right now. Should I just create like a, a, a Facebook account real quick? Just like a burner email? I need this doormat. <laughs> what the? Now the unks wildin'. What is they watching? What is they watching, bro? What is the unks watching? Why does this have 3.7k likes? Oh, so beautiful. Perfect body, D, real superb, and sexy fool. <laughs> Hold up! <laughs> Some, somebody get their TO, man. Hey, y'all, y'all, get your TO, bro. I want to do a test real quick. I want you to guess how many likes this Facebook post got. If you said 80k likes, you'd be right. I didn't even know until recently, but there's AI slop videos that have millions of views on YouTube. I refuse to believe there are real people out there consuming this content that breathe the same air as me. Like, how do they live their lives day to day as a human being? We got the president of the United States posting AI slop videos.
And so far, there hasn't been any regulations on this stuff. People have been making jokes saying in the future, the only jobs that are going to be available is YouTube and IRL streaming. Like everyone's going to have their own POV of their life and you'll have to pray to God you get at least one gifted sub. And to my fellow content creators, I hate to break it to you. But content creation ain't even safe anymore. This AI takeover is taking down every industry. We all going down. Just recently, Google announced their new AI, VO3, which is so far looking like the most advanced video AI we've ever gotten. Not only can the videos be generated in 4K quality now, but the people in them can also talk. Like, look at this video and tell me it's not getting scary. This video is completely generated by AI. Welcome to a non-existent car show. Let's see some opinions. I mean, man, the acceleration is crazy. You look far, step on the pedal, and you are there. <laughs> you can see uh, I'm kind of a kind of a misfit here, but uh, don't tell anyone. I've just bought an electric car. I think it's really great for families and for little babies with all the safety features that these SUVs have. The microfilm is in your ticket. They're watching the north exit. Use the service tunnel. At this point, just take me back to 2022 when I thought AI at the most was going to be ChatGPT. And even though it's not perfect, like if you're an observant person, you'll be able to tell it's AI. The fact that it's getting harder to tell the difference between AI and real videos is scary. Boomers are about to be struggling in their final years of life to understand anything. They're about to be the most misinformed and stupid generation at the end of it. And they can also generate streamer clips as well now. Oh my god. Yes! Woo! Victory Royale with a pickaxe! Woo! Okay, so this is how you start. You find a tree and you just like, you know, punch it down. Boy, if you don't get your squiggly diggly head. If you're watching an AI streamer, you got like zero soul. Isn't the point of watching a content creator to be connected to their community and them? And what are you gonna do when you wanna meet said content creator in public? Generate an AI selfie with a goddamn AI content creator? I really don't get the purpose of even having this as a tool. It's 250 a month, by the way, which seems like a lot until you realize this is footage a company could use forever without paying anyone. But if any company gets exposed for using something like this, I feel like they'll just lose customers and people will stop using their products. We saw what happened with Duolingo and how people did not take that well. I can only imagine another corporation trying to pull off the same thing. And companies who promote non-AI use are going to get all the customers instead. They got to understand that there's always alternatives people can switch to in an instant and bankrupt their company. Just this year, we saw what happened with Tesla. There's a ton of nice electric cars nowadays. So it wasn't hard for people to say, F Tesla, we ain't buying from y'all. We'd rather buy from a company that ain't associated with a freak. And their company has been bleeding money ever since. I can't even blame the younger generation for protesting these companies doing this. Like, what did you expect? It takes masses of people for these companies to realize their mistakes. Like, Duolingo tried backpedaling because of all the people deleting their app. It's the only way they feel pain. And by the way, I'm not talking about companies who just use AI to assist use. I mean, by now, everyone's using ChatGPT to help assist them by asking it questions or helping them learn easier. AI used in an ethical way is perfectly fine. I'm more talking about the up uses of AI and companies trying to use it just to make more profit while the quality gets worse. So anyways, that's going to be it. Let me know what y'all think about this whole AI takeover and if we're actually cooked. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. As always, I love you guys consensually. And until next time, I'm out.